Hi folks, Mike here from the Trailer Depot. This morning we're doing a video walkthrough on a, Stra a Bison Stratus 30 horse, 16 foot living quarter trailer with a super slide out. Um, it's a gorgeous trailer. We've got the champagne beige on this trailer uh, with the graphics package and the polished stainless steel sides all the way down. Uh, huge awning on it, the awning's electric. Uh, three horses in the back, uh, hay rack up on the roof. It's an enclosed hay rack, uh, the sides are enclosed. Um, three horses in the rear with mangers. Got a stud divider on the first stall with an escape door up in the front of that stall, which we'll show you on the way out. Uh, sliding windows behind. You got your three saddle racks with the mangers. Bison does a very nice job of leaving the mangers open here. So if you've got long gear that you want to put in underneath the mangers, you can easily get it in and out through the back of the trailer. Uh, the, those manger doors are pretty small, so it's tough to get larger stuff inside those manger doors. Uh, three saddle racks, a nice sturdy blanket bar here on the door. Coming around to this side of the trailer, you've got your ladder up to your hay rack, a uh, large hay rack on the roof, uh, drop downs in front of all three horses. Uh, you've got a drop down window as well as drop down bars. So you can do either just close, open the window or open the window and the bars. Large manger doors and you've got one door in front of each horse. On a three horse trailer, you get two doors. Mangers in front of the rear two horses with an escape door in front of the first horse. Uh, heavy duty 16 inch tires. The one thing I didn't mention to you, these back doors are split. So you've got a larger door on the horse side than you do on the tack room side. It's a 60-40 split. Makes it a lot easier getting that uh, the horses in and out, obviously, in a, in a wider opening. Telescoping divider on that last divider to make it even less of an intrusion into the horse area. Well, this is one thing that I really like on our escape door here. We've got a camper latch as well as a bar lock. So in and out, you can just, you don't have to close the bar lock unless you're going down the door, road or you got a horse there. A uh, nice lock on the camper latch, but it also, a lot of people use this as a mudroom going in and out of the trailer because you have a door going right into your bathroom from the, the first stall. So that camper latch is a very nice feature on it. Um, on the horse area, you've got uh, lining on the walls front and rear, uh, the manger wall as well as the butt wall on the trailer. Also in the horse area we've got uh, lined and insulated horse compartment in this, so the walls and the roof are all insulated. Roof vent above each horse, uh, padded dividers in each stall. Padded butt bar and chest bar, one in front of the first horse, one behind the second horse. This is called a super slide out. 16 foot living quarter with a 12 foot slide out. The thing is huge. It, when we go inside, you won't believe how much room you have inside that trailer. All our slide outs on the Bisons come with a awning over top of the slide out to prevent any chance of getting any water inside the trailer. Again, these stainless sides, boy, they just make the whole trailer pop. It's just gorgeous with that uh, champagne color on it. Up in the front, we've got an enclosed gooseneck area, which stores all your propane tanks, your batteries, your spare tire. And this trailer we also optioned out with hydraulic landing here. Very nice feature. Push of a button, up and down. Makes it very simple to hook and unhook your trailer. Stainless steel on the nose up front. Nice and bright. Keeps that, the whole trailer looking nice and shiny. Uh, nice slide out step going into the, the interior. We'll come on inside and we'll do a, a nice video on the rest of the interior. We'll close this awning up so we uh, show you how that works because it's an electric awning. Very simple on the awning. Push of a button, the awning goes right up. No more fooling around with arms. Screen door on the camper door as well as a window. Inside we've got AM, FM, CD, DVD player. It's got a USB jack and an auxiliary jack to hook your iPod up to. 19 inch color TV. The cool thing about this TV, it's in a cabinet. Spin it around, watch it from the bedroom. So you can lay in bed and watch your TV. What a cool little feature. They have lots of nice little, well thought out items in this trailer. Queen size mattress up front. The other cool thing that I like is you've got nightstands on each side of the bed. I mean, you've got to have a place to keep your alarm clock uh, to be able to charge your phone. Cool stuff like that with all sorts of cabinet storage up overhead in the uh, closet. You've got shirt closets right here. 
hangers in the shirt closets, one on each side. Nice and convenient, and you can reach them from down here. You don't have to climb up into the bed. So many people put that wardrobe closet up in the front of the gooseneck. Boy, very difficult to get. Who wants to climb over your bed to get your clothes out? Again, the super slide out. It is a full 12 foot, a 16 foot living quarter with a 12 foot slide out. That is unbelievable. A sofa that pulls down into the bed on one side, and you've got a dinette on the other side that also folds down to a bed. Now, this is a very large dinette. This is a four person dinette. So many of the dinettes you see in these living quarter trailers are so narrow that you can't sit four people at it. That's a very wide dinette on that trailer. We've got uh, night shades or day night shades on each one of these windows. Pull the shades down nice and easy. You don't have to worry about those stupid uh, blinds with the, the little rod. Uh, closets. You've got a huge closet there, huge closets here, and then you've also got another huge closet in the bathroom. Um, the other thing we optioned out on this trailer, an oven. How many times we hear people, oh, I want to be able to cook cookies when we're on the road. You've got your oven as well as a three burner cooktop here. A gorgeous sharp microwave, stainless steel, very large. That's an awesome microwave. And then a huge two bay sink here, stainless steel. Nice and big, you don't usually see that in a living quarter trailer. Draws for all your utensils and everything. A large refrigerator with a freezer. Six cubic feet. So it's a very nice sized refrigerator. You've got it where you can put a gallon of milk. It's got it's all sorts of storage in there. Other place you've got storage is underneath your sofa. All sorts of big closets underneath there, and then overhead cabinets above. Um, in this box out here, I forgot to mention on the outside, we've got a, an external grill. That's your grill outside. It's got a quick disconnect for your propane, hook it up outside and cook outside. Um, another thing that a trailer this size, it's unusual, but it's got two large fresh water holding tanks, one under each one of these dinettes. You've got 80 gallons of fresh water in this trailer. So if you're dry camping, it's awesome. A nice full mirror there. Look at the size of this bathroom, and the bathroom is huge in here. You've got a beautiful shower with a radius door, glass shower door, and also a sky dome above. So it makes it nice and bright inside the shower, but also gives you a little bit of headroom for some of those taller folks. Uh, the air conditioner is all ducted through the roof. You've got ducts all the way through that are you can open and close very easily. Uh, sink in the bathroom matches the sink in the kitchen. Very nice. And then you're back out into the horse area. So we've got, can walk right through. Again, a lot of people use this as a mudroom. Come in, change your clothes. The stuff can't get underneath the horses. Um, you've got your, you can use this to haul goods if you've only got two horses in the back. So it's a very functional, functional trailer and a functional stall here. Um, other than that, that's what we have here. It's a gorgeous trailer. We're excited to have bison on our lot. Um, we'd love to have you come down and take a look at them. This trailer for the money, boy, you can't beat it. This trailer is in the low $60,000 range on a three-horse trailer with all these options on it. It is absolutely gorgeous for the money.